You know, Nat, I congratulate you because you have a fantastic story, all right? You've been yeah. uh, struggling in the business. A lot of people have to start and they have to struggle a little bit. Yeah. You get, uh, you win an Oscar. Not long ago, yes. uh, months ago, right? You win yeah. nine months yeah. ago. So you win an Oscar and the next day you, you are cast on yeah. this show that everybody really likes. Yeah, it's kind of absurd. Like, kind of like my neurotic brain sort of kicked in, you know, and then you're sort of like terrified, like that you're gonna, then the next, like too many good things have happened, you know, right. or sort of like the next thing you're gonna like be naked in a gutter, like, you know, doing <laughs> meth. You know, like half naked, maybe man. That sounds like another good thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. Why do you judge these things? It's a good call. It's a third awesome thing. Uh, it's funny because I, I, I went, I was talking to you uh, backstage. We were just chatting a little bit, and I swear to God, I detected, I, was, I thought I detected a slight Boston accent. Yeah. I'm from the area. Is this true? Yeah, yeah this is true. Are now you were, you're from Boston as well. I grew up in Boston, and I moved away, uh, you know, uh, when, after college, but. I'm, I was curious, I, I had, when I look at old uh, home movies yeah. of me, I've got a, a Boston accent. Yes. Like when I was a kid, I'm like, yeah, Kyle yeah. Stansky, yeah, you know, and then, <laughs> I, I don't know, that was like who, who that was. Uh, <laughs> but it kind of just went away on its own from living in so many other cities. Yes, no, I have that, that same thing. Like if I'm around my friends, like there's like a strong, and there's only like a few words that you end up using, like when you're around people. Like, when you're around friends from Boston? Yeah, it's basically like, I use the words like uh, lit and hurt. And it's just like, dude, you're gonna get lit tonight? Yeah, dude, I'm hurt. Yeah, I'm so hurt, but I'll probably get lit again. Yeah. Like, but where did you grow up in Boston? Like, I'm from Brookline, Mass, okay, which few. is yeah. Why? Why few? Well, just because I grew up in in a town called Manchester by the Sea. Oh yeah. And there's like really, which is a beautiful town, but there's really nothing like super tough about it, you know? Because it's like four hyphens in the name. Yeah. And so like I'll see other people from Boston out here, you know, like at a sports bar, like watching the Sox or something, and they'll come up and they'll be like, oh snap! Oh, dude, you know, Sully, Mike, get over here. Dude, this kid's from Boston. Nah, dude, oh my God, like, where are you from? And I'm like, oh, well, um, yeah, I'm just from the North Shore. Where are you guys from? And they're like, ah, oh, like Malden, Revere, like Natick, like well, that's, oh, that's tough, tough, you know, tough sounding Roxbury, name. Roxbury. Yeah, Roxbury. Lowell, these yeah, are like tough yeah, places. Saugus. And yeah, then they're like, well, where are you from, dude? And you're like, I'm usually like, ah, just, you know, and then I try to think of, like, other tough, like, towns that are near it, you yeah. know, like, G Gloucester adjacent, you know, or Danvers, <laughs> and they just sort of look at you like, no, but, wh but where, dude? You know, and then I'm like, Manchester by the sea. <laughs> and <I'm just> like, <laughs> it's so lame. But also, it also, so lame. it also just sounds like you should turn and this should be like art music. I'm from <laughs> Manchester by the sea. <laughs> I know. Like, it's not my fault, it's not a tough sounding name, you know? No, no, oh. but you live with it. I do, I deal. You, you have persevered, you have, no. uh, you and your writing partner, uh, Win. Uh, yeah. uh, win Oscars. Yeah. Which is a great honor for, for, for helping to write The Descendants. Yes, And yes. Um, there was this great moment, your writing partner, you all get up on stage and your writing partner uh, mocked the pose that Angelina Jolie had done in her dress, and it yes. became actually the most, probably the most memorable moment <laughs> of the night. I think we have the photograph of that. He was, yeah. Did he just, did he just think to do that in the yeah. moment? He's such a dick. Like, <laughs> such a dick move. Now I, now I know you're from Boston. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it was such a dick move. Like we were walking up there, and we're both like, oh my god, I can't believe this just happened. And we walk up, you know, and then. There's like this pause because you know we sort of knew that we weren't going to speak. Alexander Payne was going to sort of do the talking, and so we were standing there. And then there was like this delayed laughter, and so I look over and Jim's doing the pose, and I'm like, "You son of a like, that's amazing! Like, how, why did you not tell me we were going to? You know, like we should have done it together, you know." So then to like try to like play catch up, like I. <laughs> I tried to do the pose too, and like in my mind, I think I thought that we were doing the exact same thing. Like right. his his was like this, right, you know? right, right. And so in my mind, I'm like, we're both doing it. The crowd is loving it. Like this is killing. But in actuality, like when I went back and like looked at it later, like it literally just looks like I'm I'm just like enjoying his pose with my like leg open. Like I'm just awkwardly standing, like sort of in a feminine way, like hips out, like, you're doing it, Jim! <laughs> just nothing. It's so weak. Then you run into your Boston friends, dude! Yeah, dude, get the hell out of here. <laughs>